Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. the coolest thing I've ever heard! What? It's horrible! Ear torture is what it is! Yeah! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Pretends he's a cat and he can't even stand on his own four paws. Hmm. It was too emotional for her. <laughs> you can't get away! <laughs> Looks like fun. Sam, feel like going outside and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Long time no see. How have you been since yesterday? I uh, dug up this treasure just for you, sweetheart. Uh, gee, thanks. Whatever it is, I'm allergic. As you wish. Mm. Oh. You're so cute when you smile. Say what? <sighs> My childhood guitar. Why in the world did I ever stop playing? I think you said you weren't very good. I so admired your honesty. Why, thanks. Well, anyway, I guess I'll just throw this junk out. Junk? He doesn't mean that guitar. He can't throw it out. No! Follow me. I just knew you couldn't live without me. Yeah, I was so upset I was taking a nap. Make uh -huh. room for me, sweetheart. Are you absolutely certain you wouldn't be more comfortable somewhere else? Like in the middle of a highway, for example? <laughs> nah, oh. this is where I feel best, sweetheart. <laughs> I'll snuggle up with you. <laughs> uh Going to the flea market is a great idea, honey. Who knows? We might even find some great new junk now that we've cleared out our old junk. Okay, follow me. Hey, I've got a super idea for a game. I count to ten, and while I'm <sighs> counting, you run off far, far away from me, like, say, to the other side of the city. Easy, right? Let's start. <sighs> One, two, huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Chill out, honey bunch. I just wanted to clean your ears. How can I possibly make 
you understand. Don't sweat it, sweet pea. I'll do the other ear next. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's really too bad for the two of us, but you see, I've already got a tomcat in my life. Uh -huh. Yes, in fact, it's the guy who was just playing that beautiful guitar riff. Uh -huh. Sam! My rock and roll boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sam. You can stop now. I don't know if I could take so much awesomeness in one day. I understand. Ugh. I should give my paws a rest anyway. Who was that cat? Oh, he was a nobody. Just some flea bitten alley cat. So, hang out later? Yeah? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Too high! Ah. We need something to get higher. Check out what I found in the treasure trove. An apple catcher. We can help the girls catch the fruit in the tree. Let's go! Sorry, Wash. I've got other plans. What? You made plans without me? Well, you know, Victoria and me. We get along super well now. She's seen my musical talents and she accepts me as a real cat friend. So, you'd rather sit around with silly Vic than jump for apples with cool me? Sorry, but when you're a cat, sometimes you just have to hang out with other cats. Okay then, go hang out with your cat friend, but you're gonna miss out on a ton of fun. A ton, I say. <laughs> What kind of awesome cat activity have they got planned for this afternoon? A nap contest? That is so lame. <laughs> Phew, that was a close call. <laughs> Been looking for you, Dumplin'. Uh, one, my name is Victoria. Two, you're not allowed to come in through our cat flap without being invited. Very invited by me! <laughs> oh, unreal! Where were you brought up? City dump? Why? and let a pro show you how it's done. Mm. Must have been a squirrel. Awesome, Sam! Awesome! You just saved my life! Yo, oh, thank you, Vic. You know, you're basically my coolest friend. I know. I mean, thanks. Okay then, so see you later, okay? Vic and I are just getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> hey there, buddy. You, oh, yeah, I remember you. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Mm -hmm. So, are you the dude I heard playing the musical chainsaw? Yeah, uh, yeah, that was me, but it's uh, a guitar. You've been playing for a long time, dude? Yeah, uh, no, not for very long. Dude, you must be kidding. You're awesome. I bet the chicks just love to hear you play. Well, yeah, there is one. Hey! Boy, I really don't have an ear for music. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe you should give me back my guitar now. <laughs> Phew, for a second there, I thought you were going to... <laughs> hey, come back here! <laughs> <laughs> Sam, let me tell you, this is way, way more fun than hanging out with Vic. No, no! <laughs> Huh? 
Private property here? No trespassing. And don't ever let me see you hanging around here again. Ralph! <laughs> Sometimes being a dog is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Care of that. Now then, where did my dream leave off? Ah! Uh, this is not good. Ah! Come on, snap out of it! Hey! Look, guys, don't worry about a thing. I'll take all the blame. Don't even try to talk me out of it. I simply insist. No, no. I'm telling you, I can handle it. Really. My very first sculpture in just one class. Can you believe it? Uh, 
no, I really can't. I'll just set it here to dry. It really reflects my inner feelings about the basic human condition. Who knew there was an artist inside of me just waiting to blossom? Oh. I love it, honey. It's really like, like, uh, like art. <laughs> oh. Washington, did you do this? <laughs> oh, that was my grandmother's face. Oh, honey, look at his face. He didn't mean to break it. You know how clumsy dogs are. You're right. My grandmother didn't even like that vase very much. And I didn't really like my grandmother. Me neither. Well, I think Washington has learned his lesson. Right, Washington? He's really sad. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, Wong. We should be going. Our dinner reservations are for seven. What time is it now? Uh, 6.59 and 18 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Thanks for taking the blame, Washington. There's no way I can handle so much shaming. <laughs> Whoa, you're a master. Let me try. I can't do it. I can't do that pain face you do. Well, I hope this is a lesson learned. One, I'm an excellent actor. And two, you guys really <laughs> should not... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, did you not hear what I just said? I will not cover for you again. You've got nothing to worry about, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please watch out? If anything happens to this thing, the Living Stones will blame me for it, and my sad face trick will only work once. <laughs> <laughs> Just smash it already so I can get back to my beauty sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! Hey, that's enough! Hey, listen to me! Come on, hey! What? That's not enough. I need them to be quiet once and for all. that happened? Huh? What? What happened? Something broke? Oh, no. <laughs> What's with Washington? They're going to think he did it. Oh, right. Why? Because they are. I think I remember what it looked like. Let me try this. Hmm? 
well, well, well. Not bad. Not bad at all, if I may say so. What is it? Mrs. L's statue. The one she brought in. It looked just like that. The one she loves so much? Um, yeah, that one. The one she's so proud of? The one that makes her so happy? Yes, yes. No? It didn't look like that. At all. You're right. Who am I kidding? This looks like it was put together in a blender. I think I can fix this. That's worse. It looks like nothing at all. Let me try. It's my turn! Done. Not bad, huh? I like the way it looks as though he's playing in a sandbox. Longing for the days of his youth. Wait! What are we doing? What about the statue? Oh no, they're back! Ah! Wait! Everybody calm down! Panic is not the answer! Panic is never the answer! <laughs> well, thanks guys. Looks like I'm in really big trouble. Not a second to lose! Right here! Okay, uh, some wings, uh, no head, a bit like this. <gasps> Look, hon, they love my sculpture! <laughs> it almost looks like they're worshipping it. <laughs> Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. to bake cookies? Maybe I'll give you a little cookie dough for a treat. Oh, yay! We're gonna make cookies! Yippee! <laughs> you may have to compete with Washington. <laughs> okay, come on, tell me what it is. It's something no cat can resist. It's a laser pen, and not just any laser pen, it's the Phantom Red 3000. Let the games begin! Ah! The power! <laughs> come on, then catch it! Whoops, I'm too fast for you! <laughs> 
What is that thing she's chasing? I don't know, but whatever it is, she really wants it. We meet again, Red Dot, but this time you will be mine. <laughs> Sam, what's wrong? <laughs> what kind of cat doesn't want to catch the dot? Did you hear that, Sam? You gotta catch that dot. But I don't care about the dot. Well, you better fake it. Fake it? <laughs> <laughs> Sam, if you don't get out there and catch that dot, Mr. L is going to find out you're not really a cat. <clears throat> catch the dot! Catch the dot! Go on, champ! Catch the dot! Catch the dot! Catch the dot! Huh? I'll catch you, red dot! <laughs> Sam, I've never seen a cat with such horrible aim! <laughs> <laughs> what? Stay out of my way, you clumsy boar! Oh, I'm suddenly married to a big kid. He's going crazy with that toy. <laughs> in this family. Win, win, win! Dot! <laughs> Get it, Sam. If you love this comfy life, you'll catch that dot! Red dot! Red dot! Come on, Sam, I'm with you! Come on, Sammy, you're the best! Come on, Sam! <laughs> Red dot! Red dot! Must catch the red dot! <laughs> Sam, you're the clumsiest cat ever! <laughs> red dot, red dot, must catch the red dot at all costs, at all costs. If I didn't know any better, I'd say he isn't faking it anymore. At all costs, at all costs. Red dot, red dot. Red dot, red dot, red dot. <laughs> <laughs> Champ, that dot is yours! Don't give up now, you're so close! Now listen to me. Carve into those turns when the dot takes those corners. Now, don't let Vic intimidate you. Just get right up there in front of her. Even if her claws do hurt a little. Oh yeah, and can you try not to whiz by Eugenie and Susie so much? They're pretty... dizzy. I love this kid. Dot! Red Dot! Must catch the red dot. You know you're never gonna get it, right? Dot. Wait, what? Red dot. How do you know that? Because, hello, no cat has ever caught the red dot before. Huh? The cat who finally does catch the red dot will become the enlightened feline leader. Hmm. But that is pretty much definitely no way going to be Sam. No offense, Sam, but you are definitely not a cat. And since I'm the only cat here, that means you're going to lose. Oh! <laughs> Catch the dot! Catch the dot at all costs! Catch the dot! 
<laughs> I think I need a timeout. Good idea. <laughs> red dot. Get the red dot. <laughs> Come on, get it, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it, Vic. <laughs> oh, boy. This has to end. I gotta talk to Sam. Uh, Sam, listen, buddy. We gotta talk. Uh, I think Vic's right. You're never gonna catch that dot. So, you should stop now. Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Uh, Sam? Catch the dot. Catch the dot. Tell him, Vic. Tell him. Red dot. 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 That stupid red dot has turned this entire household upside down. Stupid red dot. Making everyone crazy. Destroying everything. Stupid dot. Stupid dot that cannot be caught. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Um, what are you doing? I want a bet with a squirrel. 
That sandwich is mine, but I gotta get to it. <clears throat> yeah, um, have you thought about climbing? <clears throat> like an actual real cat? <clears throat> oh, of course. That was my plan B. Cat stuck in a tree? Now that's video gold! Oh, wait, is that Sam? Real cat! Real cat! Go, Sam! Go! Uh, no. no, Sam! No! <laughs> Sammy, you certainly earned that sandwich. And you gave me some priceless footage here. Bon appetit! <laughs> Sam, we weren't laughing at you, we were laughing at the way you felt. It's different. Do it! Sam, hey! There you are! <sighs> Great! I guess you already heard that I fell out of a tree. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no, seriously! You're a natural barn comedian! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! But, Vincent, how did you. Hi, Sam. I just wanted to say congratulations on your success. I admit I'm surprised. Yeah, thanks? Wait! What is going to. <laughs> You ask him, now you. Uh, Sam, can you sign an autograph for us? <laughs> we can probably sell it. We're never selling it. Yeah, sure, if you want. What should I write? Uh, can you put two nugget with all my love? No, oh. for Fluffy a nugget. But mostly for Fluffy. <sighs> girls, girls, how about this? <laughs> Will someone please tell me what's up with Sam? Uh, what? You don't know? Uh, and G, Washington. Oh, uh, and <coughs> quick! Sam's in the computer! What? I, I'm not in the computer. I'm, I'm right here. <laughs> I get it. Mr. L shared that video of you online. It appears that tumble you took is a big hit, Sam. Wow! My brother, a star! A star? I'm a star! Whoa! Well, for today, anyway. It must be from one of my GoofTube fans. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> Gee, I don't care for one. Thanks. I love being a star. <laughs> and all you did was fall out of a tree. People have such weird taste. For once, we agree. <laughs> Excuse me, do you have an appointment? No, I was just bringing these... Uh, sorry, Sam is swamped. Lots of fan mail, you understand. He's booked up until at least tomorrow. <sighs> well, then, can you hold these until then? <laughs> this 
can't be that complicated. I bet you hold it like this. If Sam can become a star with a stunt that stupid, just imagine what a triple-jointed fox like me can do. You shoot, I perform. I don't know if I want to get involved in your wild animal games. Hmm, really? But I think of you as a director type, bossy. Hmm? Well, I am very visual. I suppose this would be easy enough. When do we start? So here's the deal. I rollerblade onto the trampoline, get shot into the air, and land on the mattress. You've told me this three times. I got it. Take one. Cut! Perfection. My costume. Who's going to notice? Come on, we need to take two. <sighs> Actors. Wow, all those clicks, it's a success. People love me. <laughs> it's still increasing. <laughs> well, well, who's the star now? Yeah, well, if you want my opinion, it's mostly thanks to the director's talent. Way to go, Wash. Hey! Can we play too? Oh yeah, we want to make a film. <laughs> You're too little to pull off something that sophisticated. We'll talk in five years. Aww. <laughs> huh? I just need to borrow this for a second, thanks. Vincent? Yes, sir? You've just been promoted to director. You're gonna film me. Wow, I've always wanted to work in film. <laughs> Trust me, it will be hilarious. I guess so. In three, two, one, rolling. Meow. Now, Joy! Genius! Huh, so he wants to play dirty. Well, now it's four! Washington! Washington! Boy, am I ever gonna teach that little rat a thing or two about filmmaking. Washington! 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 It's a wrap. The tree stuff made you, but we should expand your of. Agree. I need to keep it fresh. Your fans will love it. Here we go. We're going to do another take. I didn't really catch it when you hit the steel girder the first time. <laughs> So it's a tie. Why don't we just say we're both stars, huh? That's fine with me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take a nap. Stardom is very exhausting. There's no way we're gonna let those two losers win. I know we can outdo them. I've got tons of awesome ideas, Watch. Sam, you can't do this to me. 
we've got to make the third part of our trilogy. What? <laughs> what was that? Oh, look. That's our video. <laughs> you really are funny when you sleep. What? That's the internet blockbuster of the year? Oh, Lane, there's not even any action. <sighs> I should have kept all the takes of Wash without his costume. It could have been huge. Gotta run. I need to seriously think about a career move. Filmmaking may not just be the right choice for me. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Sounds like a party going down. You, you Samba! Samba! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Woohoo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! You guys, for the sake of my sanity, please don't encourage those bozos. <laughs> <laughs> Got something even better. Hmm. Voila! Samantha, the queen of Samba. <laughs> Samantha, Samantha! <laughs> Enchanting. You should go outside and perform for the whole neighborhood. Yo, oh, how sweet of you, Vic. But you know, I'd much rather dance for you. What did I ever do to deserve this? I mean, I'm terrific. Hey there, sugar paws. It's just not right. They are the ones who are supposed to go outside, not me. The biggest, dumbest doofuses in the whole forest, and they had to pick my house. <laughs> no. Fang. Ooh, one and only kitten. So what do you say to a romantic stroll through the garbage far, far away from this uptight world of fences and kibble? No thanks. Some other day, perhaps. Great. What other day? Um, how about never? Never say never, Tiger Eyes. Trust me, Fang. The word never was invented to describe me walking around in garbage with you. Hmm. I just love it when you get all angry. You turn into such a wild cat. Fang, for real, get out of my face, okay? But it's oh. such a pretty face. Fang, I mean it! Well, Kitty likes to scratch. <laughs> what in the world is that? It's Victoria! <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> huh? Whoa! Check it out, Wash. Vic is fighting like a wild animal. Which is exactly what we mustn't do. We've got to act like well-behaved household pets. Which means... Well, for starters, we could cheer. Victoria! 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 Maybe we should separate them. Mm -hmm. Come on, break it up, guys. 
I'm gonna come back for you, Vic. We're made for each other. You're the pussycat of my... Dreams? Who are you? <laughs> Good one, Samantha. Well, hello, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, how quickly they forget! Who just saved you from the claws of Fang? Please, you really think I needed your help? <laughs> if I'm dreaming, don't wake me up. Oh, arch rival, it is on. Bravo! Way to go! Awesome! <sighs> Whew. Boy, I could drink a river. Me too. I'm thirsty just for watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh? Hey, watch where you're sitting. Hiya, doll face. Not again. How many times do I have to say forget it? Huh? You know your eyes light up like a thousand garbage cans, and your snout is prettier than the city dump at sunset. Hmm. I do not believe this. He really thinks Sam is Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm still thirsty. Me too! I could drink buckets! Let's check in the fridge. <laughs> Got milk? Well done, Eugenie. So, Samantha, what's it gonna be? Yes or yes? Samantha? Oh, now I get it. Listen, thing. I hate to break it to you, but... <laughs> Wait a sec, Samantha. Pretty please, play along with him. Do it for me. Yeah? Well, why should I? It's the only way that weirdo will ever leave me alone. And because we're really good friends. No, that's true. We are very, very good friends, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Okay, but what exactly do I have to do? Samantha, don't send me packing. <laughs> Vic, so what should I do now? Pretend it's all a big game. You know, play hard to get. Mm -hmm. Every time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? You pretty much get it. Mm -hmm. Easy. Something, anything that says you care, baby. Yeah, she's crazy about me, Samantha. Before meeting you, I didn't know what real beauty was. My fair feline, you focused my eyes. Compared to you, other lady cats are well, tuna faces. What? That is crazy talk. You, you have the face of an angel, the fur of a tigress, lips made of velvet. Uh, Fang, remember me? Enough already! I'm the one! 
one you're supposed to be crazy about. What in the world is going on here? It's a game! Join in! Huh? Leave Sam alone! I knew it would come down to this. Ha! Well, if my arch rival wants to fight to the bitter end over my beloved, let the duel begin! Wait a sec, Samantha? You wanna win her heart? A wild boar, fake boy, cat prettier than me? It's final proof, Fang is crazy. Hey, I thought you were in love with Victoria. She's kind of black compared to Samantha. You, Fang, check out your sweetie Samantha now. Uh, what is this? You took my Samantha. <laughs> the prettiest girl I ever met is gone. Great. Now you're back to worshipping me. And I never want to see you again. Fang, don't be upset. This is what you've always wanted. Me! Fang, wait up! Remember my pretty face? Want to explain? Well, it all started when you went off to get a drink of water. <laughs> that reminds me. I'll be right back. Gotta go real bad. Like I was saying. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is here. Okay, any minute now, Mr. L will come out and we'll have our morning chase. Hi. Ah, good morning, Birdie. Good morning, little bunny rabbit. Good, you're up. I'm waiting for my morning cat bath. Oh yeah, that's the spot. You know, if I didn't know any better, I would think you really were a cat. I didn't say mm -hmm. stop. Well, well, well. Look who's ready for our morning paper chase. Hmm, we're not done, Sam. You still gotta do the inside of my ears. Sometimes I think dogs have more fun. <laughs> You're a good boy. <laughs> See, dogs have more fun. Thirsty. Washington, I've been thinking. Ah, oh, be careful. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Bad things happen when you do that. <laughs> Somehow it doesn't seem quite fair that when we chose costumes, you got to be the dog. You get to have all the fun. Sam, being a cat is just as great as being a dog. Everyone knows that. Right. 
Then you won't mind switching with me. You can be the cat for a while and I'll be the dog. <laughs> Sam, being a dog is no longer just a role for me. It's a whole thing. We can't just suddenly switch like, like that. <laughs> huh? That's weird. Where's Sam? I'm always the first one up. Oh no! Oh no! This is bad! <laughs> arf, arf. Huh? Sam, what are you doing? You're gonna get us what all- What incredibly clever dog has my morning paper? Mm -hmm. It's all over! We're done for! Arf! 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 arf. Uh, <laughs> wait! Sam is you? It's an opposite day already? No! Not for another two months! But, yeah, Sam's decided to be me. Oh, how fun! Yeah. Wait, what? No, not fun. Bad. Very bad. <laughs> oh, no. Game over. Any second now, the elves will realize that he's not me. Hmm. So far, it doesn't seem like they've noticed anything different. Nothing at all. <laughs> Sam! This is crazy! You don't know what you're doing! Trust me, being a cat is cake compared to being a dog! Hmm. Nice game, boy! <laughs> arf, arf, arf. I know what Washington said! He says so many things! True, but it would be super fun to switch costumes! We can't! Yes, let's do it! Wash. Now that you're the other cat around here besides me, you're gonna have to act like one. Huh? Yeah, right. I've been sitting here patiently waiting for my morning cat bath, and we're way behind schedule. Ha! Ah, no way! Nuh -uh. Nope, not gonna happen. Never, ever. How strange! <laughs> Weird! Sam, what's wrong, huh? You always clean Vic this time of day. Are you sick? Do you need the vet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you could stop. Who turned off the lights? Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh my Washington. Ha. Go on, boy. Go ahead and play with your friends. Go on. Whoa, I met the dog folk. So this is what it feels like. Hey there, Washington. Hey, guys. How's it going? Everything cool? Smells like him. Must be him. Wash, so, uh, how's that Mrs. L? Getting any home cooking table scraps these days? Yo, oh, yes. She makes the most delicious little pastas and dessert that makes your heart sing. Sometimes she makes the cutest little cookies that make you wanna... Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, it's good. It's good. What about you, dogs? Ah, uh, you know, chasing cats all around town. You know, the usual. Ugh, you're definitely not a very good cat, Washington. Do it the same way Sam does it, like a cat. 
Gross! Being a cat is a lot harder than it looks. Uh -oh. Don't look now, Wash, but uh, here comes your little friend, Trouble. Washington, this is for you. Let that be a lesson to you. So much drama when you're a dog. How exciting! Nope, we're not done napping. You're gonna have to act like a cat if you want the elves to believe you. That's it! Enough! I can't stand it! I need to run around! Do something instead of napping all the time! Fetch a ball, go on a walk! Cats don't do that. Well, I do! And I can't go another day cleaning you! Yeah, well, I agree. You're pretty terrible at it. <laughs> yeah! I can use my natural energy and remarkable imagination to show Sam what an awesome time I'm having being a cat. He'll see how much fun it is and will want to switch back. Easy. That's your big plan. It's all I got. Here's what I'm going to do. You're going to find That's my wall wall. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing with my cat toys. It's so much fun, better than any dog game. Wow, I love this cat scratching post. It's the best thing ever. I don't want to be a dog ever again. Being a cat is the best, the best. <laughs> You gotta save them! Mm -hmm. You're a dog. That's what dogs do. Go! Save them! Mm -hmm. I told you, being a dog is a high pressure role. Those cats have to stay here and act scared. Hurry! They need you. stretched out, but it's good to be back in my regular costume. <laughs> what about the girls? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Rescued? <Ooh>. Rescued. <laughs> that was way too close. <laughs> I never want to be a dog again. It's too hard having to be you, Washington. Yeah, this fits me much better. Yo, by the way, I met a girl at the dog park. I think she meant to give you this. Oh, <laughs> oh Wash, you're such a dog. Thanks, Vic. Hey, no worries. I had to get Sam back. You were a terrible cat, and I gotta have my daily cat bath in the morning. <laughs> Come on, I wasn't that bad. Pretty bad. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Listen, ladies, if you're not staying hydrated and getting a solid 20 hours of sleep a day, you're going to show your age. Yes, Susie? Are we all? Oh, yes, good question. No, not yet, but you 
will one day. You want to put that off as long as possible. Why? Because, my dear naive Susie, nobody wants an old pet. Nobody. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Ah! Oh, Sam, help me out here. <laughs> ah, thanks, buddy. Sure. Oh, I had the most amazing dream. I was rolling around in a mud pit the size of a pond. It was amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tell us more. Ah! 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 What is that? Are you dying? Is this part of your face? Oh, relax. It's just a little avocado rinse to keep our coats youthful and shiny. Oh. 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 Hmm, tasty. Oh, I don't need that stuff. I get all my energy from a good night of howling at the moon. Oh. <laughs> You need it more than any one of us, Wash. You're like what? A billion years old? Wait, what? What, what? Look, all I know is you're super duper old. <laughs> what do you mean, super duper old? Let's look at the numbers. Tell me, how old are you? I'm, I think maybe, well, I have no idea. We don't really do birthdays in the woods. It doesn't matter anyway, because whatever age you think you are, you're actually seven times that age. I'm guessing you're somewhere around 35, or maybe even 40, so very old. <laughs> that most certainly does not sound about right. I'm as spry as they come. If you use the word spry, then you're definitely getting up there. But just to double check. Mm -hmm. What? What is it? What do you see? Not much, just... Ah! A gray hair. That means you're almost dead. A gray hair? But that's just like... This old silver fox I used to feed. Thanks, Sonny. Whatever. I still got it. Sure you do, Wash. Just like that old silver fox had it. Wait. So you're saying that when you get old, you lay around and people bring you food? Sign me up! Well, yes, but that wasn't my point. Oldness is really nothing to get excited about. Treat time, my furry friends! Come and get Come it! <sighs> we splurged and got gingery ginger snaps for ah! mm. Gingery ginger snaps? Ow! Gosh, are you okay? For the 10 billionth time, I'm fine. Stop treating me like your grandpa. Come here! No! Everyone leave me alone! Oh no, Wash. Let me help you up. How about one more treat, old boy? Life is short, right? Want me to chew it for you first? I'm not old! I'm gonna show you! <laughs> for a walk was a 20-mile journey uphill both ways. Come on, Alfie, let's go inside. I want to play house. I told you, I'm not playing house until we have someone to play the grandpa. When I was a kid, our idea of playing house was eating rocks. If we wanted a grandpa... Hey, wait! <laughs> we can get Washington to play the part. Actually, he can play our great-great-grandpa who is back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I can't look. It's just a sea of gray in here. What? Is everything all right? Huh? Speak up. We're worried about you. I know you all once thought of me as your spirited leader, but it's becoming clear that my aging body is letting you down. 
Maybe I'm no longer fit to be in this role. Maybe it's time for me to accept my elderly status and all that comes with it. But Wash, you're not elderly. When I was a cub, there was an old silver fox who lived in our den. I used to have to chew- You've told us this story! Really? About a hundred times. Well, that proves it. It's time for me to retire and go back to the woods. But we can't stay here without you, Wash. Yeah, you're our leader! You'll freeze out there! This is what old animals do. We return to nature. <sighs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to the Stop Washington from Leaving meeting. First on the agenda, how do we stop Washington from leaving? Oh, that's what's happening? I'm out of here. Wash can figure this out on his own. He's a big boy. I mean, an old boy. Well, we're off to a great start. But let's stay focused. How do we get Wash to stay? Let's tie him up! He's so stubborn, we need to go and hide and pin him down! Yeah, uh, okay. Any other suggestions? Oh, you? oh, I got it! Lock him in a closet forever? This is going to be harder than I thought. What if we set up an easy, really, really easy obstacle course for him? Then he wins it, and he thinks he's still a young pup, and he doesn't leave, and we all live happily ever after. That's actually a really good idea. Thanks. Oh, we can use spoons for hurdles. <laughs> no, we need the tinier ones. Get the decorative teaspoons. Kids, you got a new play set now that the old man's on his way out. Life's for the living. No, Wash, this is for you. Huh? If you can make it to the end of this agility course, that means you're in the prime of your life. And you won't have to go back to the woods. Huh? Hmm, of course. If I don't make it to the end, I'll have no choice but to return to nature. Only respectable thing. And go! <laughs> 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 want to go to the woods, having someone chew your food for you is no life at all. Start the stopwatch. They weren't even real rocks. Good try, everyone. Victoria, lead my friends well. Oops. I'm a little competitive. Wash, I'm so sorry. You're not an old man. And those balloons, I mean, rocks, I mean, I have really sharp claws. I could pop a rock. It's okay, Victoria. You don't have to pretend. I'm an old guy. It's time for me to say goodbye. <gasps> don't follow me. Let me go with dignity. <laughs> I guess this is as good as it's gonna be from now on. Surprise! <laughs> Happy birthday, Wash! However old you are. You guys came all the way out here to give this to me? He didn't really make it that far. Well, I was a bit tired, you know. Uh, but tell me, how did you know it was my birthday? We don't celebrate those back in the woods. We didn't have a clue. We just decided to celebrate the first day of your new life. You maybe want to blow out your candles? 
candles, right? That's what you do when you celebrate a birthday. You okay, Wash? He's more than okay. Your gray hair is gone. <laughs> you look like a brand new cub again. Well, you look at that. I guess my days aren't numbered after all. Does that mean you'll come back home with us? Only if I can get more of those gingery ginger snaps. Yay! Whoa! You don't need that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch it! Oh. Oops, sorry. It's okay, Grandma. I'll give you a hand. Grandma? I'm not a grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Victoria. Yeah. Why isn't she angry at us? <laughs> Victoria? Uh... Hey, Vic. What's wrong? Hey, Vic. Vicky. Vickster? Hey, Vic. What's going on? Are you okay? Why aren't you getting angry at us? confused about who we're calling. The vet. I didn't want to say it in front of the pets. You know how they hate the vet. Remember what happened last time. Oh. 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 Yeah, right. Not a good day. Uh, I have the flu. Leave me alone. You poor thing. Sorry and stuff. If I could just sneeze, I might feel a little better. Ooh, the flu? Hmm. I never get the flu. Never. Never? The second I get a sniffle, I just do an old forest anti-flu ritual, and that's it. Flu gone. Here. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha choo. 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 For wild animals only, not for sensitive house pets like Vic. It could overtake her. You're uh, right. Who knows what could happen? Uh, Let me think. Uh, who is it? Oh, food! Yeah. <laughs> food? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> It's the vet. Uh, the vet? Yes. Uh, Phew. Not a good day. Susie, it's up to you. Doc? Yes? It's our cat, Victoria. I think she's got the flu. Normally, I'd bring her in, but she's just so weak. Could you possibly swing by our place and check on her? Well, keep her hydrated and watch her closely for the next couple hours. If she's 
not any better, then I guess I'll come right over. I should probably give the rest of your animals a once-over, too. <laughs> ew! 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 Germs! Ew! Gross! <laughs> Who's ever heard of a vet being afraid of germs? Well, Doc, you do sound busy. I'll, uh, keep you posted. The vet will be over very soon if Vic's not feeling better. How long do we have? Do you know? Uh, a couple of hours, I think. Or was it a few minutes? Well, one of those. And guess what? If he comes, he's checking all of us. <clears throat> we gotta keep him out of here. Way too risky. You mean he could give us shots? Or clean our ears? Or use the thermometer again? Yeah. <gasps> or find our zippers? <gasps> yeah, exactly. Gasp! And if that happens, we're back out in the wild. So we gotta get Vic better. Got it? Yes! yes. <laughs> Great news, Vic. Nurse Washington and his team are here to get you well. Patient needs a cold cloth. Water! 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 Hmm. This patient needs ice. Ice! 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 ice. Ouch! Oops. So cold! The patient needs warmth. Thank you. Wow, gotta say, Vic, you look better already. Right, Sam? <laughs> Good job, guys. High five, <laughs> all around. <laughs> Yippee! Does this mean we can have our food now? Oh, no, Vic! You're not supposed to wrap yourself in blankets when you're sick. You'll get a fever. No, we can't get our food now. Uh, hello. Uh, hi, Doc. We've been watching Vic, but she's not getting any better. My wife just burned her finger on her fur. Fine. I'm coming now. He's on the way. What to do? What to do? Ah! No. I'm here to help make the sick go away. Why don't you go away? I have something really important to say that I think will really help. Okay, here goes. If you don't get better, can I have all your yarn balls? How does that help me? I thought it would motivate you to get better. Uh, 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 if I could just sneeze. Chili peppers, of course! Mm hmm? I mean, chili peppers to sneeze. Ah! Yes! Great! I bet that'll clear her up. <laughs> Guys, I know it seems risky, but it's our only option. Our ancient forest anti-flu ritual. But Washington, we can't. What choice do we have? We gotta try something. The vet will be here any second. Huh? The vet? How come nobody told me the vet was coming? I can't do the thermometer. Uh -huh. Washington, please do your forest magic. It's my only hope. Hmm. <laughs> Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha chu. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha chu. All together. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha chu. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha chu. Hi cha, hi cha, hi cha chu. 
Wow. Well, I hope he's coming soon. We have a situation right here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! I can breathe again! Wow! Now I won't get the thermometer thanks to you guys! <laughs> Thank goodness you're here! She's like a limp little rag! There she is, Doctor! <laughs> so, nose dryness, good elasticity, hmm, right, tongue flexibility, perfect. Is this some kind of joke? This feline is fit as a fiddle. Wow, you are sickly. <laughs> So sick, in fact, your fur looks almost like a costume. I better get my thermometer and take his temperature. Oh, the humanity! I'm freaking out! Glad it's not me. I just. I just. Uh, 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 yes, yes, your dog is definitely sick. Ew, ew, gross, germs, ew! Uh, just give it one of these every four hours. <laughs> ew, gross, ew! Forget my dog! Great vet coming all the way out here? That's a professional at work. Hi -cha, hi -cha, hi -cha, I mean, just look at hi -cha, Washington. Hi -cha, He's better hi -cha, already. Hi -cha, hi -cha, hi -cha, hi -cha, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go buy a cake to celebrate. That was close. The forest anti-flu ritual works every time. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> you ever feel like you're being watched? Oh, all the time! When Mrs. L tells me how pretty I am, when Mr. L videotapes me singing. No, when... silly. I mean right now. You're right. We are being watched. This is the life, Sam. No dirt, no bugs, no annoying bear. Back in the forest, my only entertainment was picking ticks off my butt. <laughs> Hello, Hello, everyone! everyone. Coming up on Bling My Day House, a doghouse with its own home office. Wow, we could do better than that. How'd you like your very own blinged doghouse, Wash? Huh, boy? Doghouse? <laughs> How come dogs get all the cool stuff? What? Doghouses are the worst. Me, I'll take the people house with AC and snacks. Hmm, Wash doesn't seem excited. Not like the dogs on TV. Strange. Hmm. Ha! Oh! Oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Honey, I think Wash wants a doghouse duplex for him and his best bud, <laughs> Sam. Yeah? Ah, uh, You heard the dog. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Oh, honey, I married the best pet owner in the whole world. I'm 
gonna make you your favorite rhubarb pie. Mm. Oh, <laughs> yum! <laughs> oh, Wash. You have no idea what it's like to have to pretend to like that disgusting rhubarb pie. Lucky you're a dog. Huh? Come on, boy. Aren't you excited? Time to move in yet? Not exactly. Keep it simple. That's my motto. Weird. I feel like I'm being watched. That's what I thought. But is it just Vic? <sighs> I heard something in that tree. Ha! Who is it? Huh? This is gonna sound crazy, but I swear I smelled Mitch the bear. <laughs> I would know the smell of his salmon breath anywhere. Mitch? But he lives in the forest. How would he know where to find us? Don't know. All I know is if it's Mitch, it's not good. He wants something. Ah, uh, it's just Vic. She loves to stare. It's one of her main talents. Mm. 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 I don't know. Look at your new homeboys. Pretty great, huh? Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Wash? Go on, boy. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go get your toys to furnish your pad. Come on, Sam. Here, Wash. Everything looks normal. We'll circle back once more. That was close. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, is that a cave? I got a treat this morning and I saved it for you. It's called a housewarming gift. No, oh, you genie. Can I have just one little bite? Sure, in fact, we should eat that before we go back out there. Just in case. Wash, you heard you, Genie. It's to warm our house. Here's a little something from me. Old newspaper? You can read it and pee on it. It's like two gifts in one. <sighs> I'm sure it's all perfectly safe. Sure it is. <sighs> yep. Nothing here. Just my imagination. I can't believe I was acting so crazy. Ah, you guys. Ah! Mitch, what are you doing here? Hiding from those lights. They think they can get me. <laughs> but I'm smarter than them. Boys, I got a possible robbery in progress. Copy that. No bears here. I repeat, no bear. We're on our way. Well, good for you. But, you know, you can't stay here, right? Yep, but neither can you. Living with humans, it's against the laws. Laws? What laws? The laws of nature. Anyway, I thought we were friends. We are friends. Long distance friends. Mm -hmm. We live here and you live way over there. Cool, huh? Not cool. I'm taking you guys home to the woods. We're going to be best next door neighbor friends. <laughs> What are these? Mmm! Whoa! You guys eat those all the time? Yep, after a walk, after a pee. Nope, those are only for special occasions. Very special occasions. This is a special occasion. I came all the way from the forest. So if you don't get me some more, we're leaving right now. No problem, pal. I'll be right back with extra special treats. <laughs> ah! What are you doing back <gasps> so soon? Mitch! It's Mitch! He's in the doghouse. He's come to take us back to the woods. What was that? I hope it wasn't your rhubarb pie exploding, because that would be a tragedy. I'd better investigate. Hey, Washington. What's the matter, boy? <laughs> You don't like the doghouse I poured all my heart and soul into building for you? <laughs> More dog food? Well, okay. Just don't tell the missus. Hmm? Pie's almost done. 
<laughs> Yummy. Now I know why you like it here so much. Go get me more. <laughs> more! And bring me one of these, but softer and bigger. <laughs> Keep the elves busy. We can't risk them coming out while Mitch is here. <laughs> 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 what are you dweebs up to here? Um, nothing. Let me see. Hmm? <gasps> oh, what are you? <laughs> so pretty. So soft. She's a house cat. She, um, doesn't like to be held. Welcome to my house. House cat. <laughs> oh, looks like the pie's done. Uh, uh, yum, I can taste it already. It just needs to cool a little. Only five more minutes. <laughs> can't wait. Mm, it smells good. Watch that! Give me that! You want the pie? I can't do that. That's human food. Humans love pie. Well, guess what? I have a feeling I love pie, too! Okay, okay. Pie's on the way. <laughs> hey, get over here! Give me that! Give him the pie, Wash! Come on, Washington. He's getting really mad. <laughs> I want dessert! <laughs> My pie! Where did it go? Oh no, not the pie! <laughs> Honey, are you okay? <laughs> Give me my pie! <laughs> you want your pie? Go get it! Freeze, fur bag! Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about your doghouse, boy. You'll just have to make do with our house. And here's a little something to make it cozier. My famous rhubarb pie. <sighs> Lucky us. Is that you? I smell you, pie. And now that I love you, I'll be back. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Watch out. Whoops. Sorry, Vic. <laughs> oh, pff, kids. <laughs> wow. 
What is that? <sighs> Don't worry, honey. It's only temporary. They're just putting it up for the kids' birthday party today. Oh, yeah, right. I'd forgotten. Phew. <laughs> They've got a lot of kids coming over. to be the one being chased and able to fly away. And why did they put that thing here? Probably to keep out the pesky neighbors. You can't catch me! We'll see about that! <laughs> Ooh! I love this stuff! of other fun things you can do. Really? What, for example? Well, uh... It's so unfair. I just want to see the party. I can't see. I can't see. Whoa! It's awesome. If only you could see this. Huh? produces a great quantity of hot gases that are subsequently fired into the jet engine fuel compressor. Eugenie! 
Are we supposed to be flying now? This isn't working. Susie, you follow her. We can't let her out of our sight. moment. <laughs> Since mere balloons aren't enough, we're gonna become balloons. <laughs> hey, that tickles. My fellow mammal, but you wouldn't have seen a cute little piggy, or, uh, I mean, a rabbit floating by, would you? Come on, guys, there's more flying stuff! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? You think he'd never seen a flying pig before? Uh -huh. <laughs> Gotta find you, Genie! Where did she go? But have you seen a... Uh, excuse me. Uh, that was rude. But also helpful. Look. Yeah. It's Eugenie. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. to get home. Eugenie, hang on. <laughs> How do you break with these things?
party. What in the world is going on around here? And look how cute they all are, cuddling each other. Guys, please, remind me to never ever fly again, ever. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. stupid costume is killing me! Who knew wearing two layers of fur could be so hot? This must be what it's like to be a baked potato! I just want to rub my bare belly on a blanket of fresh moss under the shade of a pine tree. Oh, the whining. That's the price you pay for the fake life. You have no idea how much hard work it takes to fool everybody. You think it's so marvelous in this costume? Costume is marvelous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, gang, we're off to the neighborhood carnival. If we can learn to walk in this thing. We'll be back late! Left you extra kibble! Ouch! Sorry, hon. Whoop. Friends, thanks to the elves spending the day in costume, we get to spend this very hot day out of costume. Yippee! Yippee! We're bad enough with your costumes on, but au natural, it's like bring on the barbarians. Yes! We should air these babies out. To the right, dear. No, that way. Wait a sec. Stop! Oh, hello, Alvarez. Nice costume there, Living Stones. Why, thanks, Mr. Snubinski. The only drawback is how hot it gets inside. Oh, that's why you're gushing? I thought you were dressed up as Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll go home and change. Wash! Wash! Disaster City! Our costumes are gone! Sam! You're just not used to running around in your birthday suit. All this freedom is making you nervous. Somebody stole our costume? Our huh? costumes! <laughs> hey, what are you all looking at me for? Ha <laughs> ha, so hilarious. Now give us our costumes back, please. Uh, I don't have them. But even if I did, you were sick of your stupid costumes anyway, weren't you? Whatever. With my super nose, I'll find them in no time. Seeing what they smell like, that should be a cinch. <laughs> I'm getting a whiff over here. <laughs> yeah! Alfie and Gracie stole our costumes. Are we allowed to panic now? No, focus. We have to get our costumes back, otherwise it's bye-bye good life and a hello gloomy forest. Oh no, how can I help? Return you to the forest, that is. Huh? Mm -hmm. There! All that's left are Eugenie and Susie's costumes. Ooh. They must have gone to the carnival in ours. Ours were too small. Or they smell too good. My wonderful costume! No! What are we going to do? Well, we can't hang outside stark naked. I know that. <laughs> Back so soon? Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's got so uncomfortable. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, yes, it's so hot. Oh, now, isn't it more comfortable being a Roman? 
on a horse? You can say that again. And we can see where we're going, too. Okay, we got ourselves a breather, but we've got to get our costumes back before the elves come home. But how? We can't go out like this. You're right. But fortunately, we have the perfect costume. Stay close to me. We can't let anyone see us. Yeah, well, I can't see anything at all. We're going to a real carnival with rides and everything. This is going to be awesome. Well, if this is any indication, it's definitely going to be memorable. Look! Like I said. Sorry, those were your ears. We thought you were us. Uh, you know what? Never mind. Hey, Wash! Hey, Wash! Not now, Eugenie. No time for games. Bummer, because I thought we were playing tag with Gracie and Alfie. Say what? Well, yeah, they went that way. Okay, gotta be super discreet. The best thing for us is to split up. Sam and I will go this way. Victoria, you go that way with Susie and Eugenie. What? No way! I only tagged along so I could watch you make fools of yourselves. I have no intention of babysitting. <sighs> so I guess we're spending the rest of the afternoon together. Is that the deal? Oh, yes! <sighs> Come on! There's tons of rides we want to try out! <sighs> Oh, it's a furnace in here. Phew, life was more comfortable as a cat. Don't sweat it. We'll have our old costumes back in no time. And then we'll never, ever take them off again. Hey, hey, why don't you look where you're going? Living stones? Back so soon? I thought you were going to change costumes. Nothing in your size. <laughs> what do we do? I don't know. Wait. Say what? Hey, are you all right in there? You seem a bit out of sorts there, Livingstone. Maybe you should go back home. <laughs> so, dude, anything exciting happened while we were gone? But, but, you, the horse. You seem a bit out of sorts there, Snubinsky. Maybe it's the heat. Why don't you go home? Huh? There's something I can't understand. Yeah! <laughs> can't let them out of our sight. Now that we've lost Alfie, Gracie, and our costumes. Susie, do a flyby and see if you can't spot Alfie and Gracie from up there. Oh, is this a game? Exactly, that's what it is. Like hide and seek. I see them. They're heading home. Oh, and I think I also see the living stones. I think they're going home too. Quick, we've got 
gotta catch them before the elves get home. Susie, you guide us. Aren't you guys getting bored with all this running? This time, there's no letting them get away. More of this. I promise I will never, ever let you out of my sight again. Oh, poor guys. You had to stay home alone all day. Must have been boring. And that's why we brought you a little surprise. <laughs> Since you couldn't come to the carnival, we brought the carnival home to you. Ta-da! Costumes! Now we'll all be able to party together. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Wild they can. Oh, Sam, what's happened to my foxy instincts? I've gone soft in the suburbs. Too many snacks and nasty. Hey, TV. You watch a lot of TV. Hello, furry huh? children. Who wants yum yums? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam, your tail. It's missing. <laughs> Who's hungry? We've got to do something. <laughs> Honey, are you seeing this? Yes, dear. <laughs> wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> my tail, my beautiful fat tail. Calm down. You still have your whiskers and your paws. But what happens if the living stones see? Well. Worst case scenario, we get returned to the wild and eat dirt for the next 40 years. Huh? <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Relax, I'm kidding. Okay, they can't have gone far. This just requires a little detective work. Never mind. 
Eugenie, Susie, start with the couch cushions. Research shows that's where 72% of missing household objects hide. Okay, that's where I would hide. Sam, Washington? Uh, uh, what does Sam's tail look like again? Okay. It's a tail! Sam's tail, long, blue, <laughs> covered with fur. Ah, sure, we'll get it. Sorry, Victoria. Uh, Amazing. Uh, There's like a castle in here. What's happened? Wow! Guess what, dear? I finally found the piano! <laughs> hey, Victoria. Have you, by any chance, seen Sam's tail? Hmm? Mm, not at all. Come on, how about helping us look? Hmm, let me think. That sounds boring. Oh. No. Well, let's go for it, Sam. Fluffy, no! Hey! At least we found it. Uh, Sam? <laughs> Sam! Wake up, man! But what if they figure out what it is? Well, then we're finished. Over. Our cover is blown. Which is why we have to get it back. No! Oh, you've gone soft. Lost your touch. Fallen off your game. Okay, Sam. I've still got a few slick tricks up this first sleeve. Because the sun is shining and it's a brand old day. Back to the girls. They have to be less noisy than this. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, step one of Operation Tail, infiltrate enemy territory. But before we get started, safety first. Mm -hmm. Hop on my back, Sam. Like a backpack? Are you sure? Yes, this is what ninjas do. <laughs> oh. What, this? You really like it? Oh, yeah. Can I try it on? <laughs> Fluffy said not to give it to a soul. But Fluffy's not here, is she? She's eating. I could tie it around your neck. That's not giving it to a soul. I would love that. Oh, You could do this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. <laughs> or this. Glad I thought of the trampoline. <laughs> okay, still not quite back to my old self. Nap time. <sighs> well, where is it? Sorry, Sam, it was a no-go. They really liked that tail. I was afraid of that, so I found a backup plan. Yeah, you know, with the stripes. <laughs> I don't think so. You sure? Totally. So unless you want to sleep on a pine cone pillow again, we're going to have to outsmart those cats. But Washington, you said you ah! got... Stop listening to me so much. It's somebody's bedtime. Okay, wait for me outside. Ah! 
Save me! A giant talking sock! Ah! Wake me up! Sam, it's me. I am waking you up. It's time for Operation Tail Rescue, the sequel. Okay, jump on my back. You sure? Just go. Roll! Figure us out. Didn't you tell them they could stop looking? I thought you did. Girls, I'm trying to sleep here and you're wasting your time. The tail's not here. It flew out the window. You sure? Of course I am. I did it. What? Why did you do that? My sincere apologies, but it's a cat thing. I just can't fight it. If something fluffy goes flying by, I just gotta swipe at it. Oh, we cats are just like that. Wow, you speak swell. You mean all cats? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Eugenie. Hey, my tail. I'll explain later. Right now, clean up this room. Victoria, you're going to help us. Uh, really? Mm -hmm. Are you sure of your plan? Absolutely. When Fluff and Nug see this, they won't be able to resist it, leaving us free access to your missing appendage. You sure? Totally. Now let's get your tail back. Do I have to climb on your back? Nope. We'll, uh, take the stairs. Huh? Huh? Oh. Wow! Amazing! Okay, let's go! You sure? Don't worry. Ha-ha, <laughs> I'm a lean, mean ninja machine. Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, they need me. Well, I think it's abundantly clear to everyone that I've got my edge back. <laughs> We did it, Washington, we did it! I can't believe it! Uh, I mean, I knew we could, dumb cats. Hello, mm -hmm. I helped too, you're welcome. Sam, you're my best friend, and all that matters is that I'm the one who got your tail back. Breakfast! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Flip, flip. Thanks, bye! It's finally here! My dream blankets! <sighs> it's incredibly soft! What is that? Ah, fantastic, honey! Oh, so soft, like an angel's embrace.
Hey, don't get too comfortable. It's almost time for the movie. Now, where did I leave my purse? Oh, in the bedroom with the shoes. Like a puppy's ear. Or three-ply toilet paper. Wow, that looks really comfy. I need to try it. Amazing. Found it! Ready? Oh. Dream blanket. My nightmare. Come on, wake up, rise and shine. We have a movie to catch. Let's go, sleepyhead. No. Oh, wait. No, oh, come on. Just five or ten or maybe thirty minutes more, please. <gasps> huh? ah! <clears throat> oh, all right. Let's go. Just hang on one second. Nice and safe, where no animal hair can touch you. Let's go. Time for a little test drive. Ugh, gotta say, this is as good as it gets. Vic, didn't you hear Mr. L? He put that blanket up there to keep us off it. He didn't mean me, silly. This is what cats do. We nap on their stuff. Mmm, really is soft. Yay! I just remembered. I'm a cat too. If she can do it, so can I. Wait, Sam. I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> hey, that was about to be the best nap of my life and you just ruined it. Now you've got to put this blanket back up there, genius. After my second nap, that is. Ooh. How was it? How was it? Uh, well, I only got to touch it with my face for a second, but it was like floating on a cloud. Victoria. For one thing, you're the cleverest. And easily the cutest. Don't tell the others. <laughs> what? What? What happened? I need it. I'm a cat too. Sam, it's my turn. That's strange. It felt so soft on my face. Oh, wait a second. I know why. I gotta take my costume off to feel it. Sam! So soft. Yeah. <laughs> You're the best, Sam. So handsome. A real charmer. Handsome fit. You're even better than a real. Sam, you are smarter than all of us and the bravest, too. Don't forget the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. We love you so much, Sam. Because of you. We're the happiest humans in the whole world. Sam, what are you doing? You took your costume off? What's with you? What if somebody saw you? Wow, that was the best dream ever. And once and for all, stay away from that blanket. Uh, uh, oh. hmm? <laughs> Here, Washington, let me help you with that blanket. Nope, sorry. Wish I could believe you. Look, there it is! Can we try it? Stop! I'll just 
just wait right here until the elves get back, and they'll see that I was protecting it. <laughs> what? You genie! Susie? What are you doing? Again. <laughs> oh, well, that was nice. It can't possibly be that soft. Can it? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yes. That is delicious. You're the best dog, Washington. I can't believe you're my best pal. I'm the luckiest big cat in the world. I admit it, you're way cooler than me. We love you, Wash! <laughs> hey, Washington, or should I say, man's best friend. <laughs> that means you get to eat anything you want. <laughs> you're a good dog, Washington. Good dog. Good dog! Good dog! <laughs> I had it first and you took it away from me mid-dream! And it was an awesome dream, too! It's mine! I want it! I didn't get to have a real nap! Come on, give it! I know what you were trying to do! You tried to take it away from me while I was sleeping! How rude! Some friends you are! What's gotten into you guys? You are a <laughs> cute bed hog. That's so typical of you to take a cheap shot. That's just because you're jealous of me and my bunny hopping skills. Guys! Guys! I'm the one who tried to avoid bringing the blanket down, but you had to go and ruin it for me. And now look at the mess you caused, just like a wild boar. <laughs> what? How rude! <gasps> This is crazy! You've all gone mad! Move it, fake fox! Oh no! The living stones! Okay! That's enough! Washington! Why? We'll sit on that one. Is that clear? Wow. 
Wash, you're the best. You saved the day. That blanket had to go. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. is super, super awesome. <laughs> Not half as awesome as my super claw. Uh-oh. <laughs> now then, oh. it's time for my favorite show called My Third Nut. Supermask ever back down from the enemy? Never. Never! And would Supermask back down from a little cat claw? Never! Uh, maybe? Great! Here's our mission. We must face off with the diabolical Dr. Victorious and regain control of the TV. Yeah! yeah. Don't make a sound. We're gonna take the enemy by surprise. <laughs> Sam! Sorry, missions make me hungry. <gasps> hey, why that's a super yeah. mask! Woo! Super? Super? <gasps> super mask! <gasps> And with these masks, no one will ever guess we're wild animals. Totally! <laughs> Change of mission, my friends. Real superheroes have much more important things to do than worry about Dr. Victorious. Yeah. Yes, and what we're gonna do is pig out on pizza! Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of saving the world? Like Super Mask. Hmm? No, okay. Beats after. This is a mission for. 
The masked fox! <laughs> I hit them behind these garbage cans. Edgar, look at what I just found. We're not looking for cat and dog costumes, knucklehead. We're looking for our masks. Oh, the uh. police! Quick, hide! Move, big butt! I can't breathe. Hurry up! Oops, sorry. Wash, Sam, is that huh? you? There's a little surprise waiting for you in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Suck in your gut, fat cat. <laughs> yum, yum. And who gets uh, some scrumptious kibble wibble? My two little munchkins do. <laughs> Enjoy your meal, sweeties! Wow! Something worse than prison food! This kid was actually pretty good! We got work to do! Eat later! Feel the wind on your fur! Oh, the joy of being costume free! Stop! Don't make a move, you crooks! <laughs> Stay where you are, Buster! We've got you this time! Uh, change your plans, guys. Run for your life! So, the masks we found, they belong to the burglars. Which is why the police thought we were them. Bingo! So all we have to do is put our costumes back on. Problem solved. Oh, no! The only costumes still here are Eugenie and Susie's. <laughs> The real burglars, disguised as us? Burgling our fake identities. And even worse, burgling our house. And way worse than that, stealing our TV. No more super masks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> time for my post-nap snack. And way worse than that, if we don't get our costumes back, no more house. <laughs> Smells like roast chicken. Huh? Help! Thieves! Hey, Vic, it's us. What proves it's you? Can't you watch what you're doing, you bunch of barbarians? Uh, what happened to your costumes? Let me show you. <gasps> All set? Did we forget anything? Well, I could go for some more kibble. Eh? Burglars! We've got to warn the Living Stones right now! No, first we have to get our costumes back. <laughs> Get out of this nut house! Roast 
chicken to the rescue! Huh? Did you hear that, honey? Mission accomplished! It's coming from the kitchen! Huh? You? Our costumes! Mm. Quick! Hey! You're the burglars they were talking about on the news! Bingo! I'm going to call the police! As soon as I charge my phone. You're not as fat as you look on TV. Thank, Thank you. you. Breaking news. Infamous burglars Edgar and Marnie were caught today all thanks to a family of very clever pets. Super pets, you might say. Superheroes. And that calls for a real reward. Roast chicken for all. <laughs> You're not cutting wash? Phew. Being a superhero was exhausting. I gotta rest. <sighs> More for me. And that is how the masked fox once again took control of the TV. <laughs> I have defeated you once more, Dr. Victorious. Super Mask! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. out on my best moves. Check it! are nowhere in sight. Oh, Washington, sometimes it's as if you live in the wild. Don't you know we're training for the Royal Kibble Dog Show? There's only posters plastered all over town. The winner gets a year's supply of Royal Kibble. What? <laughs> okay. So, how do I enter the show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Impossible. What? What's the problem? Well, it's just that you are... How can I say this? You are one weird dog. What? Like when you bark, for example. Arr, arr, <laughs> woof! Woof! <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to make us laugh. <laughs> it hurts. You'd better go before we laugh to death. <laughs> laugh all you want, but I'm not only going to enter the show, I'm going to win this thing. Come on, guys. I found one. I found one. A poster for the Royal Kibble Dog Show. Way to go, Sam. Okay, let's take it home and put it somewhere where Mr. Livingstone will see it. Okay. Okay, Susie, we'll wait for you at home. Don't be too late. Come on, guys. Mmm, 
spinach nut cake. I have to What's going on, boy? Huh? Read for me! Royal Kibble is hosting a dog show? Interesting. Nice job, Susie. Thank you. I couldn't let the poster win. Hey, Wash. Maybe we ought to sign you up. How'd you like to be the Royal Kibble King? <laughs> Classy stuff, Wash. You're a natural show dog. <laughs> See? I mean, who can resist that hilarious bark? Let's do this. Okay, this is getting too weird. Roll over on your hind legs. Heel. Yes, and legs. Nice job. Touch your tongue to your nose. That a boy. Now catch. Wash we, I mean, you are going to win big today. All hail the king! <laughs> now that's a good one. <sighs> Everything looks rosier after a three-hour nap. Say, Wash, when you become the new royal kibble king, can I be your bodyguard? Wow, what? Wash, the royal kibble king? That's right. I'm doing the dog show. Uh, that is not a good idea. Oh, I know. You're still mad about that musical wake-up. No, no, Wash, that's not it. The judges, they... Vic, no negative vibes before showtime, okay? But... Sam? Get you, bud. Okay, okay, forget it. I won't say another word. Consider it. Zip. <laughs> Welcome one and all to the annual Royal Kibble Dog Show. All of our canine contestants will be judged by me, the president of Royal Kibble. But only one of them will become king. Ready to win, champ? Totally. Nothing can stop me now. Well, hello, Livingstone. Hi there, Doc. I figured I'd see you here. Washington here is competing. Why, hello, Washington. Can't wait to examine those teeth of yours. Very unusual, sharp, and pointy. See you soon. Uh, Doc, could you tell me the vet wants to examine my teeth? But, but what do my teeth have to do with a talent show? The key! We've got to find the key so she'll tell us! It's not just a talent show. Winning is also based on physical appearance. The vet inspects teeth, fur, claws. It's the final event only for the 10 best dogs. What? Looks don't mean anything. Right, well, I don't make the rules. You can still win, Wash, I know it. Uh, no, Sam. If the vet examines me, I'll, we'll lose everything. It's like you can't win. Yeah, no negative vibes, remember? This fox uh, dog has to perform today. Or maybe I don't. Ready, boy? Here it goes. Washington, give a paw. Well, let's start simple. Roll over. Uh, okay, we'll try again. Sit, boy. Yeah! You're the best, Wash! You can do it, Wash! He can't do it. 
I guess we withdraw. <laughs> He's usually very obedient. I, I... Oh, no! Poor Mr. Livingstone. <laughs> Did I say I told you so? It's amazing! He's even worse than our wildest dreams! <laughs> ah, now that's my dog. Uh, has he gone completely mad? Um, okay then. Next! No, here's a real champion for you. Well done, Wash. Now the vet is going to look you over. <laughs> Good dog. Now open your mouth wide. Come on. I'm his bodyguard. It's up to me to save him. <laughs> just been brought to my attention that a wild boar is loose in the park. Run for your life! Phew! Sam just saved my life. But now, who's going to save Sam? Sam's been trapped! Washington is in the house! Owl! Commercial? Talk about a dream come true. Next year's contest is just around the corner. We must get funky. <laughs> 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 